Gentlemen, Antonio here. Today we're going to talk about the Brogue and why it is perhaps the perfect dress shoe for your business casual wardrobe. Now, I was very specific there. We're talking business casual. So I'm going to be introducing sports jackets. We're going to be talking about dress trousers. And I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you quite a few pairs of shoes, but I'm going to focus in on the Brogue because I think it's one of those shoes that a lot of guys out there, they've got the Oxfords that they can wear with their suit, perhaps in black. They've got their casual footwear but they don't have anything in between. And that, gentlemen, is the power of the Brogue. It can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. It is stylish. Got a pair right here. I'm looking at them. I mean, just look at that. And what I really like about the Brogue is it's it's very sleek. It's very stylish, but it's, it's not in-your-face stylish. You can wear this, and people are going to notice it. They'll give you compliments, but they're not necessarily going to remember it. And why is that important? They're going to see that he's well-dressed, he's well put together because you could wear this multiple days in a row. So imagine you're going on a business trip. You could wear this on the airplane with your jeans and perhaps sports jacket. The next day in the business meeting when you're wearing perhaps even a suit with Ali tie, nice pocket square, these same shoes. The next day, go with a pair of odd trousers, odd jacket, which is a sports jacket, the same shoes and No one notices. No one's the wiser because they look great. You're going to get compliments, but they're not going to, you know, they're not like a derby. They're not like a con. They don't have a contrasting color. They're not like a loafer that's made from suede that's going to grab attention and be memorable. At the same time, they're going to allow you to get a lot of miles out of them and they're going to be able to, you know, that night you want to throw on a jeans with a nice sweater. You can wear these. Now, guys, I've got an entire another video on how to wear jeans with dress shoes, Go check it out. Good video, good article with that. But uh, today, I want to get into the details. So I've told you guys I'm going to get in this. First, quickly, a little bit of history about the Brogue. Comes out of uh, England, Scotland, Ireland. The history is a little bit scattered. But what is known is that these started off as casual shoes. The Brogue, the design, basically the perforations in the leather, they were originally put there to allow water to go in and out as men were going through marshes. Now, from that, we've gotten about four different styles. They've become a lot dressier since then. We've got the quarter brogue, we've got the semi brogue, we have the full brogue, and we have the long wing brogue. Now, this right here is a semi brogue. If it was a quarter brogue, then it would only have the cap toe with the broguing right here. This one also has it over here and the back. Therefore, it is a semi brogue. A full brogue, also known as a wingtip is going to have the wings right in here and is also going to go around. And then the long wing is actually going to have the wings going all the way around the shoe. But let's get back to the semi. And that's what I'm going to refer to, the semi brogue and the quarter brogue in most of my discussion. The monk strap, you guys know about my love affair with the monk strap. Further down, we have loafers, also in suede. I've created a whole nother video, guys. Go check it out. I notice I'm linking to a lot of other content out there. And then we've got the driving shoe, moccasins, and very casual. So I've talked about all those, but we're going to go back to the Brogue. It's where I'm focused on. And let's talk about, okay, so Antonio, how is this going to fit into my business casual wardrobe? Well, this is going to look great, especially in dark brown, the oxblood. Yeah, maybe black if, if that's what you want to keep all your shoes. Is. But I'm going to go with dark brown and the uh, the oxblood colors. Uh, those I feel that just going to work with pretty much every navy that you can think of right in there. I guess there's only one variation of navy. I met every variation of blue. Look at that right. Doesn't that look beautiful? Browns and blues, a natural combination. Really nice, huh? Even with your pair of jeans here, indigo jeans. Looks good, doesn't it? It's going to stand out. They're going to call attention to themselves, but not enough that people are going to, you know, you may get someone to say great shoes, but most people are just going to look at you and they're going to say, he's very well put together. What's great about this, I can bring in a wide range of sports jackets. What I'm wearing right here, I could be if I, you know, as you guys know, I don't wear any pants in my videos, but if I was, I could be wearing this combination right here. I could go with this, especially if I had a white colored or lighter colored shirt, the brown, Looks pretty good, right? That green, what do you think? 
I think it's a pretty good combination. Guys, let me know in the comments what, what, which of those were your favorite. You like this? You like the goldish uh, yellow right here? Did you like the blue? Did you like the brown? Did you like the green? Would love to hear from you guys down in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and go through a few more. Again, another blue, this one with a canvas material. Grays, I could go, look at that right there. Gray, as we've talked about, created a whole nother video. Go into that one right here. Gray, we talk about fitting in your interchangeable wardrobe. But this is going to go with any gray flannel you've got in there. I'm going to zip through these a little bit quicker. Boom, look at that. And it's going to work with any of those jackets that I just pulled up there. Now, when it comes to browns, it is still going to work. We've got very different textures. Um, so all of a sudden, I could bring in, again, any of those jackets. I could go simply with a shirt. That's going to work. Lighter tan, all of this. You see how versatile this is. I, I could keep going here all day, gentlemen. The key point, this shoe is incredibly versatile. You can find a way to work it into your wardrobe. It can be dressed up, dressed down, and it's stylish without standing out too much. So let me know what you guys think. Would love to hear from you down in the comments. What do you think about the bro? Is it something that you can fit into your wardrobe? And of all those combinations, I'm curious, which ones did you really like? Gentlemen, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.